With RoboHelp, it's extremely easy to insert Captivate videos. Um, this, doc this topic that we're looking at um, just has a couple of simple graphics. One of them has got conditional text applied to it, hence the hashed lines. So what we'd like to do is to actually um, add an additional graphic, only this time it's going to be a Captivate video. So I'm going to put in some relevant text. I'm going to say uh, to see the demo, please click the step by step video below and give myself an insertion point. Now what I'm going to do is to go to insert and decide that I'd like to insert a Captivate demo. Um, now I've already done this before so I'm probably going to be prompted that the assets exist within my project. So for the multimedia name this would be where I would look for a SWIFT file, SWF, and I'm going to click here and this is where I've previously navigated to where a Captivate project has been published. Here you can see the SWIFT file and I simply select that. Um, once I do that, a preview occurs down here in the preview window. Now you'll notice that I have a choice of a multimedia name and I also have an optional choice for HTML5 output. Captivate can be published to HTML5 and this is very useful because we may need to publish our um, project to several devices. You know, we might be going to desktop and we might also be going to iPad or iPhone. Uh, Apple iOS does not support Flash. So uh, in this case I've gone into the same directory and it's actually looking for HTML files this time, specifically HTML5, and I'm going to go ahead and select the index file. Okay, And what this will do is when I publish the file, the browser sniffer is actually going to determine uh, whether, uh, whether it's a desktop application that can read Swift or um, is it another device that needs the HTML5. Once I do this, I simply say OK. Um, I'm being prompted that I've done this before. <clears throat> and as I scroll down, I can actually see a nice sort of a, a box, a bounding box, showing me where the Captivate video is going to occur. Um, at this point I'd like to have a preview of this, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the eyeglasses to get a nice preview. And you notice as I do this, and I'll scroll down, <clears throat> that this Captivate video is actually a step-by-step -step video. It's actually it's asking me to do specific things. So here it's saying that I should choose File Save. So I'm going to go File, Save. And then once I do that, the next thing it wants me to do is to, um, inside the Swift file, it wants me to double-click on the Open Me um, icon double click on that. Then it wants me to select the text and now it's asking me to type in my memo and then click on save. And then once I've done that I've actually completed the uh, the actions of the steps in this step-by-step -step Captivate video. So the beauty of this is that I'm actually able to use the um, preview function to see if this video is displaying exactly what I want to see rather than having to publish the entire project. It's just that simple to bring in a Captivate video for step-by-step -step training as part of your RoboHelp published output. And this concludes our brief featurette demonstration.